As the Columbus area continues to recover from the recent flooding disaster, Congressman Jeff Fortenberry made his way into town on Saturday to get a first-hand look at some of the most devastated areas. This is unprecedented 500-year flooding from this way all the way back east. Uh, yesterday in a briefing at off at Air Force Base, the commander of the Corps of Engineers said, I asked him for the number, he said it's going to be a lot. But in the midst of all of this difficulty, to be here at T-Bone Truck Stop and to see how much they've already done in terms of cleaning up, to hear them say, hey, at T-Bone we get it done, we're Nebraskans, uh, it just really is uplifting to me. Congressman Fortenberry spoke about what is being done in Washington to help with flood relief and how Nebraska's elected officials have been surveying the damage. The first thing that needed to happen, and President Trump has done so, is declare this uh, an emergency, and we're very grateful for that. The entire congressional delegation petitioned the White House to do that. The president did it quickly. So that starts, obviously, a first stage of process. I'm sure there will be discussions about the potential for an emergency package through Congress to, put, to potentially help. That might have to be added to other things. We were with Governor Ricketts this morning, Senator Sass, looking at some of the damage further to the east, particularly in the community of Fremont. But knowing, again, how Nebraskans are, how they're pulling together, even the emergency shelters, the number has shrunk because people are taking in people and helping one another. It's personally very gratifying to me to see. And as T-Bone Truck Stop, along with large portions of the state, work to put themselves back together, Congressman Fortenberry is confident that local communities across Nebraska will be able to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. The devastation is harsh. It's horrific. It's a tsunami effect. Um, but again, Nebraskans, because of the character of who we are, are prepared to meet this because of the structures of local government, but people's willingness to pull together and help one another. I mean, you see it here. T-Bones was it's inundated with mud just a few days ago. Now it's partially cleaned out. And while they won't be open for business for a while, they're going to be back in business. In Columbus, I'm Alex Loroff, News Channel, Nebraska.